Well, the MTV hit Real World is back, everybody, and it may not get excited about it, but you should this time around because there's a different spin on it. This time you can catch it on Facebook Watch. It's a reboot that's going to allow fans from all over the world to interact in multiple ways, which includes voting on housemates before the show even begins streaming. So it's more hands-on. Is this a positive breakthrough for a show that's been off the radar for so long, buried on MTV, and nobody's watching it? Um, at least in our age bracket and above. Like, The Real World was an iconic show, right? It, I feel like it really launched reality TV into what it is. It's just so much of the programming that we watch today. But I don't even know when this went off the air. I feel like it just kind of puttered off before. It wasn't this, like, grand finale. It was the last season of The Real World. It's kind of, like, went away and... I don't know. I didn't really miss it, to be people honest. People like you stop watching. That's sure. what happened. I don't, I, you know, we, we're bringing back a lot of shows. I don't know if this is one that necessarily needs to be brought back, especially if it's going to be different or if it's going to be like everything we have on, on air right now, which is just a lot of trash TV, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> no a lot shade. Of wild trash TV. TV. No shade at all because I watch it too. <laughs> but if it's just going to be like drama filled TV, like then there's no need. Well, see, and, and I disagree respectfully with both you guys, I feel like the real world's making a change here, but it's not the changes they need to make. If you think back to when the real world started, which was in the early 90s, the climate that we are living in needed a show like that. Yes, it, it was a launching pad for reality TV, but it was a launching pad for important conversations that were going on. Race relations, you saw that play out between black versus white. You <laughs> saw the, the HIV awareness, the rise in that when Magic Johnson was somebody who was inflicted with it and brought it mainstream, and that was an epidemic that people were so unaware of and how, how um, homosexuals were viewed during that time in, in our lives. And there's a person on the show in Pedro who was represented in San Francisco. So this show was captivating for me coming up because everything going on in the world if I didn't want to view it through the through the news I went to this show the real world and I think they have an opportunity right now to bottle that up and recapture that lightning one more time by talking about what's going on in the world right now I mean with the administration that's in office with the Me Too movement they should take really smart people that aren't just in it for the drunken debauchery and the hookups like the real world's been for so many years throw them into a house have real dialogue then I'm into the show, and I think they have an opportunity to do that, and I think they're missing the boat. The time is now for a real world, much like the one in the early 90s. And I'm I feel like it, you. Why? You really will watch that? I watched the heck out of it back in the day. Yeah, I would definitely okay. watch that if they brought the right people in there, if it wasn't about the hookups and getting drunk, which is all it's become. Mm. Back then, it had very enriching dialogue that made people think. That was a groundbreaking show at one point. I just hope they do something different with it because now it's like everyone has their own little reality TV, whether it's your Instagram stories, your Snapchat, Slaughter down, or I YouTube. Agree. I hope they just change it up a little bit. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see, see if this Facebook watch thing that's interactive is going to work. I don't think so. Do you guys? No. <laughs> Nobody's really getting excited about it. In a recent interview, Lil Wayne's ex-wife Toya White Wright says, Toya White, Toya Wright says she doesn't want their daughter to, she doesn't want their daughter to be with rappers, stemming from that and her own past experiences. So what kind of advice would you give your kids? Is there anything that you would tell them, you know, I don't want you to do this, or maybe there's some advice you are given that's <sighs> stuck with you from your time growing up, from your parents? I feel like the advice that I've been thinking about lately that I give to everybody and give, that I've learned lately is, um, <laughs> I don't know if this is too deep, but like movement creates movement. So never feel like if you don't know what to do, you have to make some kind of decision instead of like just that. being stuck. So make some decision. If it's the wrong decision, you can change it later, as long as it's not like a tattoo or something. <laughs> but just come, just try to make some decision because it's going to lead you to more things. Yeah, I have so many in my head right now. I'm just trying to th think of one particular. What were you I just say? don't like the stereotype of stay away from an entire genre, an entire type of person, mm. an uh, entire profession. I would never give my child that advice. I was never given that advice. What advice I've given my child or would when the time comes, when relationships become a thing at 11 years old, I pray that hasn't happened yet, is I would say be with somebody who lifts you up. Anybody who like brings that. you down or lowers your self-confidence, whether it's a rapper, whether it's a carpenter, whether it's a model, whether whatever it is, they have to lift you up. And uh, at one point good. they're not, get out. That's yeah, one advice. advice that just popped into my head out of the many that were there. Um, I just hear my mother's voice. <laughs> I'm dream, <laughs> dreaming of my mother's voice. I can voice. picture your mom's voice too, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it probably sounds like your mom. <laughs> no, so I guess I would tell a young lady to stay on her own path. Like, don't get off your path for a guy trying to follow him. Do what, he, do what, what he's doing. Like, stay on your own path. Have your own life and then push forward. And like the right person will jump on your train. That's, That's cool. Advice. That's good it. advice. That's really good advice. Wow, Thanks, Mama Lawrence holding Thanks, it guys. down.